Uh, he was lazy and didn't like to be told what to do, and, and so I didn't think he was going to do it, but he did. So he surprised oh, me. Oh, I'm so glad that she had faith in me. No, Jacob's a hustler, and I, I do admire that. I'm a cheap ass. My mom taught me to be a cheap ass. It's not my fault. It's her fault. <laughs> and I'm not buying no extra chairs. Like, these chairs were fucking donated from my friend Tay. And then this is the only chair I spent money on. And she has to sit in that one because she has a bad bag. <laughs> I do. You know me as a hustler. Try to creep and get beat. Maybe six feet. Pete. Gotta put them under. Straight jackets. Gotta make that money. Man. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the and welcome to yet another video. Today we have the 100K Q&A special with me, Madre. So basically today I will kind of ask my mom, well, some questions about myself, I guess, so that way you guys can get to know me from my mom's uh, mouth, her talking hole or whatever. And then uh, also I'm going to ask some questions on live. I already asked some questions and I screenshotted them and then I will get on live in a moment and basically see what you guys want to know. So I guess the first question is like, uh, what kind of kid was I growing up? You were a pretty good kid, did good in school. You I did good loved, in school. You did pretty good in school. Do you remember my graduating? In elementary school, you, actually. <laughs> I, like standard, I like how the standard, I like how the standards school. lowered. Do you remember what my GPA was when I graduated high school? It was horrible. I think it was like one point something. 1.7. Okay, yes, it was terrible. That doesn't even graduate in some counties. Do you remember, the first, do you remember the first time I stole anything? Do you remember mm -hmm. how old I was? You, you found it that night. What was it? I don't remember. It was that. money in my pocket when you were getting me ready for bed. From the school? Yeah, do you remember what grade From I was your in? teacher. Um, I think you were in third grade. Or... Nope. What? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. You were in kindergarten. Oh my gosh, I totally remember that. First time I stole something, I stole money Where'd out of my- Where'd you get that? I stole money out of my, oh, teacher's, my teacher's purse. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's not my fault, you know? We were poor, so it is what it is. But yeah, I uh, overall agree that Sunday in elementary school I did pretty good. I think I really started to do worse in high school when we moved to Olympia just because I hated Olympias. Where where was I born? In Tacoma. At St. Joseph's Hospital. Uh yeah, yeah. right there. <laughs> Tacoma, the greatest city in the nation. Um no. Well, or whatever you th So my mom doesn't really he like thinks Tacoma. That Tacoma is the greatest city in the nation, so my mom doesn't really like Tacoma and the reason behind that is because I was raised, I guess, in a pretty uh bad area. Mm -hmm. A good amount of crime in that area. Um, granted, that wasn't really my mom's fault. She did the best with what she had. My mom was a single mother. Um the the bad back joke in the beginning of this uh, refers to the fact that she has a broken back and she has two metal rods in her back. I was we raised in like the Oakland area. Yeah, Oakland Park. And then we moved to Warner Street. But once that meth lab blew up, that, um... oh, I know, right next to our <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that definitely changed things. At, once the meth lab blew up next to our house, that's when my mom was like, oh. I'm getting my son out of here, like blah, blah, blah. And she married my stepdad. So at that point, you know, they had money put away. Um, and they moved me out of Tacoma to get me kind of away from that so I didn't end up like the rest of my familia, which I didn't. So I actually had a question. I was thinking about kind of like how I want to do this video and one question I was going to ask you, what kind of kid did you think I was going to grow up to be? Because I remember like, I, like obviously I know like I'm your son, so yeah, you probably have like some like positive outlooks, but I explained this the other day, not too long ago to someone on Instagram. I was like, almost everyone in my family is like, dead in jail or addicted to drugs like I can't. that's true well <clears throat> tbh i really didn't think that you were going to turn out as well as you did because of your high school you hated school didn't want to do i rarely ever went to school i mean well i didn't know about that but no, yeah you anyway. did you called me in sick all oh, the time that's right. I, she'd come in and wake me up she'd be like it's time for school and i'd be like i'm not going to school she'd be like jacob you're going to school today you've missed too much school you're going to school today and i'd be like i'm not going to school i know and then i would basically just get to the point where it's like okay mom like i'm either going to school or i'm gonna end up getting put on becca bill and go to juvie like i'm not going to school today she would finally give in i think you were afraid of me ending like falling into that pattern of like going to juvie or getting involved in the legal system and then ending up like the rest of my exactly. family so so yeah exactly. she definitely knew about me not going to school um, most of the time she didn't really have a choice though i wasn't gonna go to school regardless but i do regret skipping school so for those of you that are in high school go to school i'm telling you and enjoy it while you're there because i i miss high school being an adult fucking sucks yeah i told you Pay yeah you bills. did tell me. Oh, yeah i already have so many freaking bills oh my god i have to pay for her damn cell phone bill Yes, which I greatly appreciate. The irony. You want to get me a cell phone, <laughs> right. and now I got you a cell phone. <laughs> no. right. I will say, though, at the end of the day, like, when I was a kid, I didn't have... A, and I always tell you guys this. It's just kind of to let you guys know that, like, if you don't come from money, you can make something out of yourself. Like, 
You know, like my mom taught me work ethic. Like my mom made me work for everything. And when I was a kid, I used to hate it because I hated not having like super nice clothes. Like that's another question is, did you ever expect that I'd be involved in fashion like I am now? No. What? No. I wish I would have brought some pictures of you, <laughs> like oversized stuff that you would wear, the big jackets and yeah. <laughs> the big poofy Sean big, John jacket with the fur around the hood. That was so oh, gangster. I had like one hoodie. The red, the red UGP hoodie. I, I usually have like a hoodie once a year. Was yeah, basically well. it. I'd wear the same hoodie every fucking day. It was interesting growing up because like when I was a kid, I grew up around like a lot of bikers, and then I grew up around like either bikers or like gangsters. It's like the only two people that, because like like a lot of your friends were bikers. You were in a classical type music, like you were in a classic rock and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Not classical, but classic rock. Classic rock. Which is kind of weird because if you think about it, like all of our uncles. They just listen to gangster rap. I remember riding in uh, Desi's uh, Lowrider and listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh yeah, he always would listen to that. Like I always looked up to my uncles when I was growing up as a kid, like, which is a terrible thing. But my, my mom did use my uncles as an example of what not to be, and I think that's why it turned out the way I did, and I didn't get as involved. Like, don't get me wrong. Over the years, I've dabbled in some things, but I've never gotten heavy into it. Like I did, like, I never got like heavy into it like my family did, and. Um, I don't know. I like you I let it take over your life. Like I, to be honest, the uncle I looked up to most, which is kind of weird, is Desi. I just always thought Desi was just such a tough guy, just a fucking badass. Like every time I was over there, he just always kind of had that like persona where he was just. He um, does. He doesn't talk to you. He just has this. He's real still big, like, like that. I think now I'm probably closest with like Jesse and Peppy. Yeah. Which are my two uncles that are incarcerated. Shout out to them. Free Peppy. Free Jesse. I I, I think one of the reasons I asked my mom uh, too is like where she thought I'd end up because like when I was a kid like the first time I got kicked out of the house I was how old? That I kicked you out of the house? Oh Well I don't gosh, think it was, I, it, I, think, I think it was necessarily you it was technically uh David. Yeah I don't know what you were 16? You almost said 15. 15? <laughs> yeah it was like 16. right around there like right when I turned right. 16. Um do you remember that night? Um I try not to. Do you Are you talking about the uh, altercation in the hallway? No not the, the altercation in the hallway the when I left um, that night and you you found me at the at the park. Yeah, yes, I did. So basically, right? So I got kicked out. I didn't have anywhere to stay that night. And I mean, granted, at like me and my stepdad had like a huge argument. So both of us, like, I was like, I'm fucking out of here. He was like, get the fuck out of my house, right? It was just like really hectic. And my mom was just and like, I was in the both of you guys, shut the fuck up. You know, just like it was just a crazy night. And I remember I rode my bike to the park by Fred Myers. And the reason, the main reason I did that was because. I figured I could go to sleep under that like pagoda thing. And my mom pulled up. I don't know how my mom found me. She, I remember seeing the lights and at first I was thinking like, is this a cop or something? And then I saw, I noticed they were like the round Chevy Nova. Cause at the time she was driving a 72 Chevy Nova. And uh, that was probably the saddest night of my life. Like literally, I remember we had that conversation. Both of us were bawling, like just kind of talking about like our goals. She was talking about what she wants for me and like, I don't know, man. It was just a crazy night. But that was the first time I ever got kicked out. Kind of moved, like, back and forth. I lived with my friend I lived with Andrew for a little bit. That's right before you went to Hawaii, right? Yeah, I lived with yeah. Andrew for a little bit. Then I moved back in again. Mm -hmm. Right before, like, right for, before like, a, you went to probably, like, two weeks to a month before I moved, moved to Hawaii. And, uh, when I lived in Hawaii, I was a lazy piece of shit. Uh, mm -hmm. And I then all anything. of a sudden, you came home. And the and next thing I know, you came home and said... I'm, I joined the Air Force. That wasn't how it went at all. Or something like that. You, right? You're skipping a huge portion where I, I used to party a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I, I literally went out lot. every day. I wrecked my cars. I wrecked the oh, Geo prison. Oh my lord, yeah. I used to drink and drive way too Drink often. and drive. Every car he got, he would like bump into somebody or... Don't drink and drive. Try. Don't don't buy a stick shift if you don't know how to drive one. I bought a stick shift you four days you, later. Learn. Four days later I was drinking. I went to go get some beer munchies and like... I drove it, I forgot to turn my headlights on, and then boom, crashed right in my friend's truck. Like, four days after I got this car, I was so bummed. And then that's why I joined the military, going back to her point, because mm -hmm. at that, I just took a loan out for that car. And I didn't have any money, I had no way to get to my job. I love my mama. Oh, I hate My mom that. taught me how to do everything, <laughs> everything. Like, my mom taught me, like, my work ethic. Like, I, when I was a kid, I was super lazy, and I didn't really appreciate certain things but like once I kind of grew up and I started like looking at my mom's life that's what that's what really motivated me to start working all right guys so that's basically like the history but I want to ask some questions from the viewers and um, there's a couple questions that I think were pretty good one question is do you like Jacob's tattoos <laughs> that's a loaded question I like the tattoos I don't like some of the, the skull 
things, you know. But do you like the demon baby? No. You don't like do the demon like baby. Not like the demon baby. I think that whoever did him did really good work. I like that one. You like the and angel? I like that. Do you like the demon and on I the like back of the angel? Uh, no, I don't like. Do you know that what this one. one's for? That is for hmm, only time. What? That's for you. Remind me. That's your transition. Oh. I'm an angel now? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you are an angel now. <laughs> I think that when you get them when you're younger, then you might regret them when you're older. Do you think I'll regret any of my tattoos? Mm, I mean, you not know you. I don't think you them. will. Yeah, I mean, yours all have, uh, you know, they all mean something. Uh, ben Pugue asks, are you proud of your son? Of course I am. You know, nobody Jacob's a hustler, and I, I do admire that. You and he doesn't ask know. me for money, ever. Yeah, that's because <laughs> I get... Good, which is, Good. That's because I got my own shit. That's what's, that's what's funny is a lot of people, I don't know if you've ever seen those comments, but there's people that will comment on a YouTube channel and they'll be like, like, oh, you're just a fucking bitch living off your mom or something. And it's like, no, he's it's definitely like, not I don't even like, I'm, I'm like, I live in my own place. Like I pay all my own bills. Like I, like I haven't, I don't think I've he asked you money. He helps me pay for, some of my bills now. So. Um, Playboy Edgar also asks if she likes Mexicans. All my uncles are Hispanic. Uh, so, um... I love Mexicans, okay? She kind of has to like Mexicans, so it's her family. So this guy said he misses my braids. What do you think of my braids? I mean, they were okay, uh, but, but, you know... <laughs> what do you think were better, were... my braids or Justin's Jerry Curls? Oh, my lord, there's no... Yeah, your braids, definitely. <laughs> What's your favorite car? Do you know the answer to this, I believe? The 69 Camaro? 69 Camaro. I've told my or mom... Or 68 I've told my mom since I was, what, like, how old? Like... When you were young. I was probably, like in like third or fourth grade when I was started saying I'm gonna buy you a 69 Camaro someday. I think that's when I had that 72 Camaro, right? Here's a good question. What was your most embarrassing thing? Like what was the thing that I did most that embarrassed you most? I already know the answer to this, I think. I went to Jacob's, I can't remember what grade it was now. Maybe like the fourth grade? Second grade. Was it second, was it in the second grade? Yeah. Yeah, Miss second Lens. grade, second grade. And <laughs> you know how the teachers all get, they, they save out like some, papers that your kid has done and you sit down and they show you this this is this and so she hands me this paper and it says hi my name is Jacob I have a brother or something like my brother was kicked out of the house oh yeah all my brothers or all my uncles are in prison and I don't know who my dad is and I was just like <laughs> oh my god seriously how did you react when you said when I said I was going to the army which I did not go to the army I went to the air force but oh I was not happy about it especially when he told me he'd signed up for six years I, I was I was scared for him Were because you, that was when the uh, the uh, she had no reason to be worried. The we come from the war on. zone, baby. To be honest, I didn't think that Jacob was going to make it through basic because she actually told was, me that he was actually you know he didn't like authority and uh, he was lazy and didn't like to be told what to do and, and so <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do it, but he did. So he surprised oh, me. I'm so glad that she had faith in me. Fair. She actually told me. She said that, um, I remember before I left, she was like, she was like, how are you going to handle basic? You don't, you don't listen when I tell you, you don't tell, you don't listen when anyone tells you anything. Like, how are you going to survive basic training when they're yelling at you? And I remember telling her, and I remember said, I said, mom, I don't give a fuck if someone tells me what to do. If they're putting money in my pocket, I don't give, they can tell me whatever the fuck they want to tell me. I'll do whatever they fucking want as long as they keep putting money in my pocket. I don't care. Yeah. And then I went to basic training. And I was like, fuck this shit. I hate this. I mean, granted, I, I don't regret doing it. I learned a lot. When did she realize you were a hype beast supreme skater faggot? When did you, I was never a skater. When did you realize I was a hype beast supreme faggot? faggot? You, you definitely were not a faggot, so. <laughs> <laughs> when did you know your son was gay? <laughs> I still don't know that. <laughs> Definitely uh, not gay. Know. He's she as far know. from gay as anybody could ever be, okay? <laughs> yeah, you already know what's up with it. This is crazy. You're so honest with your mom. I'm super... Bro, I tell my mom he everything. He is way too honest with me, honestly. I tell my mom everything. <laughs> mom, what's the hardest drug you've done? Uh, when I was younger, I did some angel dust. It was the worst experience of my life. Oh, okay, and by so the way, I don't do those things anymore, okay? Yeah, my mom. My mom's clean now. She's 100% yes. clean. Uh, she's been for, you haven't done anything in a long, long time. Long time. We are currently searching some stuff because we're making like a mom reacts to. But I don't think I said goodbye. So, real quick, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate all the support. I'm so freaking honored to finally hit 100K. I cannot believe I finally hit 100 thousand subscribers like that's like my biggest goal on YouTube was to hit 100k and I'm so honored like 
anything past this point is just like a blessing. So thank you guys so much for your support. Yep. If you want to see more Q&As, it probably won't happen, but you can smash that like button. And depending on how much support this video gets, maybe eventually I will. I don't know. I don't really like doing Q&As, and the reason for that is because I can answer a lot of these questions on Instagram, which I do all the freaking time. But I, well, I we'll have to do a trip to the thrift. That's what we do have to do a trip to the thrift V soon. So yes. uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been, I've been trying to get her out, but me and my mom live kind of far apart, which is why. And we're about to live farther apart. Yeah, she's moving so. fucking in the middle of fucking nowhere. And Anyways. You, and so are you, so whatever. Oh, you're right. I'm moving. I forgot. You're moving south. I'm moving north. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I don't even know if I already said that, but I am freaking delusional. I have to shoot this Supreme video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I almost repeated myself again. Anyways, as always, keep living the star life. Peace. I'm